you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. Number 12. So number 12. Does your competition show up when you do? How do you outrank your competition online? That's right. So when you do a search, you use keywords that you think are really primed to your business. Is all your competition there? Well, what do we do if I do a search and I'm a, uh, um, an eye doctor and I do a search and I see all my competition right there? I'm, you, nobody's ever going to find me. What do I do, Dr. Mark? Well, that's why we advocate the strategy of pushing everyone else off the page. That's right. That's why it's so important to do things like use video and other multiple media formats, video, audio, print, on lots of different websites. So creating great, rich content that's all about your clients and customers, it's all about them, but then it's pushed out all over the place. Syndicated, syndicated is another word. Right? Multiple sites, all with links pointing back where you want to ultimately lead them. But when they search those keywords now, you're not just trying to optimize your one website. You're not just trying to get your one blog to be on that first page because then everyone else who's blogging or putting out content about that same thing is right there with you. Now, now you've got to be more fetching, more eye-catching than the rest of them. But what if they search and the first entire page is all of your links, your posts? Um, what if the next three pages are all you? <coughs> Where is your competition? Well, they're on page five. They don't exist in, in search terms. And that's important. And that's why we want to continue to put out the content that talks about what your clients, customers, patients are looking for so that we can push off the real estate. We can move them out. Think Monopoly. You want to get rid of those motels and the other houses that are there. Push them away so that you show up. We're looking for three to ten pages. We really want to get you solid in three to ten. We call it owning those pages where you're mostly there. And that's why mostly we begin number. with this assessment process where Correct. you're taking a snapshot and you're looking at where you're showing up. Are you the one that's on page five right now before you show up or are you on page one but lost in, in a, a sea of similar people? So that assessment does that and then you're monitoring as you're doing you're the rest of our, our, our content creation kind of process that we're going to teach in Expert Marketing Academy but you're going to be monitoring to see that you are successfully pushing all these people on and becoming the dominant online presence, the dominant expert around the words that you want to own. Exactly. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.